past 40 years or so, uh, we've seen the sort of decimation of good manufacturing jobs, well-paying jobs, uh, and their replacement by a number of low-skill, low-wage service jobs. So right now we have all this new technology coming on board, potentially taking out a large portion of jobs. Estimates are anywhere from about 47 up to about 60% of jobs. So a huge amount of work that could be disappearing quite soon. Now this is effectively the crisis of work, and I think this is why we have to be thinking about how do we respond to this. Uh, and I think the sort of traditional leftist idea of full employment, you know, jobs for everybody, good paying jobs for everybody, just isn't going to work anymore. We need to be thinking about something like a post-work world instead. The, the argument shouldn't be for less work uh, or against work. I think the argument should be for more free time. I think this is something that everybody wants more of. Uh, we all enjoy you know, the long weekends that we get every now and then. This is something that people can really grasp onto and I think it, it gets past the immediate hurdle that when you tell people I want to take away your job and I want to take away work, oftentimes you get negative reactions to that sort of thing. But when you uh, sort of propose it as I want more free time, then suddenly people are on board. So I think that's one way to approach this issue. And then I think the other thing is thinking about political demands. What do we want political parties to offer? Do we want them to be offering, say, a shorter working week, which the Green Party in the UK has come out with, uh, and uh, some people in France have also been suggesting this as well. So the political demands we want from parties, uh, and then also what do we want from our unions? Do we just want higher wages, or do we want them to be pushing for uh, less work for people to do? That sort of thing. I think in terms of sort of what parties to vote for, what policies to vote for, uh, things like a higher minimum wage are a good first step, uh, but also sort of talking about you know, a shorter working week uh, is another thing, uh, and also who is sort of talking about something like a universal basic income, which would mean that even if you can't find a job, you still have this you know, money to fall back on, uh, you have a safety net basically no matter what happens. Or if you do find a job and it only lasts six months, you, you know that you have something to go back to as well. So I think these sorts of things are the policies that if you're entering into the workforce today, you want to be looking for.